This video covers testing the motors and probe switches on 3D Potter Scara printers. We will go over testing each motor individually, as well as the probe switches. To start, push the Home All button in the interface. The homing buttons will turn blue when a probe switch has been triggered on. Make sure that the buttons are blue. The Scara Roadrunner also has Home U for the rail system. Once all probe switches have been triggered on, the printer should move to its idle position. We will now send a command through the console window that tells us the status of the probe switches. The command is M119. The response should show if an end stop is not stopped or if it is at max stop. Disregard the last result that says Z probe at min stop. To test if a probe switch is working, send M119 when you touch a piece of metal to the probe switch. Afterwards, remove the metal and send the command again. Here we are using a screwdriver to touch the end of the probe switch while we send the M119 command. Here are where the probe switches are located. The Z probe. The Y probe the X-probe, and the U-probe. This task can be easier to do if two people are working together. Because we were touching the Y-probe with metal when the command was sent, the results now show Y at min-stop instead of not stopped. Sending the command one more time changes the result back to not stopped, as no metal is touching the Y-probe switch. If a probe switch does not change its results when touching or removing metal from it, then the probe switch has failed or a wire has been cut. You should contact our tech support team for a replacement switch. We will now show an example of a probe switch that has failed and is permanently triggered on. To do this, we will be taping a small metal disc to the probe switch. Y will now show it is at min stop when M119 is sent. With a broken probe switch that is on, the home buttons will still turn blue. As you can see here, the distal arm does not home, as the Y probe has been triggered on by the metal disc held with tape. When the homing procedure is finished, the printer will think that all systems are working correctly, even though they are not. You must be aware of the position of the distal arm and make sure that it is not going to crash. If you believe that a probe switch is malfunctioning, you should stop the current procedure and then test the probe switches. Now we will go over testing the motors. You must be aware of the position that the printer is in. These motor commands ignore the limit switches. This means if a motor is told to go in the wrong direction, it can crash, causing permanent damage. The command is G91, G1, H2, X10, F500. Having X and Y set to positive 10 will have them rotate 10 degrees clockwise. Having Z and U set to negative 10 will have them move one centimeter. Here we are sending the X motor command. Now the Y motor command. Here is a close-up of the negative 10Z command. If positive Z10 is sent when Z is at its maximum height, it will crash into the probe switch, which can damage it. And here is the U-rail moving. If one of the motors does not respond when these move commands are sent, check the motor indicator lights. A flashing red and green light means that the motor shut off due to a physical blockage. If you have identified one of the motors not working correctly when it is sent a move command, please contact our tech support team.